Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, we're going to look at probably one of the few teen dramas that I'm actually going to cover on this channel, uh, possibly because it's one of my favorite films um, and one of my favorite ballet films. I am a ballet nut. Um, I didn't dance as a kid. My parents didn't think to put me in ballet class. I would have thought shy kid would possibly do well in ballet. Um, but again, I've always, I've been in love with it since I was a kid. I try to take adult classes right before I got married, would hopefully, once my child was a little bit older, get back into it for exercise reasons. But I've studied the technique and the history and stuff like that, and it's, it's a passion of mine. So this was actually one of the first ballet movies that I saw, and yeah, it is a, technically a teen drama. So this is center stage. Um, so this takes place at a fictional New York City ballet school so in certain companies even in real life particularly the american uh the new york city ballet where the school and a lot of times the schools directly feed into the company um and specifically then i believe from watching a ballet dancer um a former ballet dancer uh at least a former professional ballet dancer um uh, minor can i not uh i will link her be uh in below she is one of my favorites and she does YouTube and I found her on YouTube her name starts with a K and I cannot remember possibly at the end of this I will remember and bring her up Catherine Morgan there we go um, I will link her channel she does a lot of videos and she's she was at she's talking about her time at the New York City Ballet where the school directly feeds into the company in fact most cases though it may be changing um, you have to go to their school in order to get into their company so it directly feeds. Uh, the American Ballet Theater, which is the other kind of um, school this is almost basing things after, uh, doesn't quite do that. But again, these are the two they're kind of taking uh, inspiration from. But the school they're calling, uh, the ballet company is called the American Ballet Company. So they call it ABC. So it takes place mostly at this school and interacts with a group of students. They're all uh, college age. So they would be entering into college with the exception of um, Cooper Nielsen, who is actually a member of the company and is a principal with the company. So, and then his bizarre relationship with the art director or the director of the company who has just married another member of the, another principal member of the company. Kind of, he, um, Cooper had been having an affair. What is the name of the character? I will get Kathleen Donahue, Donahue, and the leader of the company is Jonathan, uh, is Peter Gallagher. And the only other adult, the other two adult major characters is Nancy Cummings. She's the mother of one of the ballet dancers and uh, Juliet Simone, who is a, um, I think she might be one of the art directors. So she's, she's a retired ballet dancer from the company. So that's kind of what these goes around. The other uh, I wouldn't call them children, the college students, um, are Jody Foster, I believe that, no, Jody Sawyer, uh, Eva Rodriguez, Maureen Cummings, um, Charlie Sim, Charlie Sims, uh, a guy who they call, they don't give him the last name, they call him Sergey, um, and then a character by the name of Eric Jones. And then the only other, um, let's see if I can find the non-ballet character who is a major uh, part of this. I can find his names. Let's see. Um, yeah, uh, Jim Gordon. So he's not a ballet dancer. He's actually a med student at Columbia. <laughs> uh, he plays into a different part of the story. So basically these, this is, they have one of those one semester at the end of this where they give scholarships to most of the students and um, and then um, that will feed into the basically they're given scholarships for this one intensive and then some of the people will feed into the company basically they'll be I don't know whether they don't specify whether they'll be welcomed as apprentices which is pretty common um, and then you can move officially into the company or I can't I don't think they explain that very well and certainly that's how a lot of uh, ballet companies work but I'm not a professional ballerina I will link 
Catherine Morgan in the card and she will or in the description and she has more information on that because she was a uh, she was a soloist with the New York City Ballet and as well as this uh, Miami City Ballet but that's a whole nother story oh, again check out her channel back to the film so you have a couple little stories going on the main story is about Joey who is not a perfect ballerina she's very pretty and you see this in the beginning of it where they're doing these auditions for these scholarships and they say she has bad feet um, but she's very good looking she's not perfect but she's good looking and that you kind of see that she's not this she's obsessed with wanting to be part of this company and to be a perfect ballerina to be like Julie Simone so that is her obsession and this is what she's wanted for a while her parents like can't you just go to college and no she wants she's absolutely excited she thinks she's fantastic um, until of course she goes to the school and they start wondering why in God's name is she here because she has bad turnout she it's not I don't think her technique is bad she has really bad turnout and they have kind of issues with her and she gets frustrated and depressed and um, you kind of see her story through this so that's where she's at the beginning then you have Eva who's from I think they did the she's like from the Bronx she's she's kind of foul-mouthed she smokes um, she's chewing gum she shows up late to the first class um, but she's very very good she's very beautiful and she has fantastic technique she just doesn't have the greatest attitude and then you have Maureen now Maureen's been in the school for a long time since she's like nine her mother works in administration is very much a dance mom like thing who's very much obsessed with pushing her daughter into ballet because this was her dream not necessarily her daughter's so yeah that's and you have Maureen who has absolutely utterly perfect technique is in a bit of a snob in the beginning of the story then you have the guys here um, you have the three men and these guys are these three girls are roommates during this intensive and then you have the three guys you have Charlie who's coming I think from Seattle he broke up with his girlfriend um, and he's just he's a fabulous dancer he likes Joni then you have Eric who is gay and again he's just kind of wanting to be a professional ballet dancer I don't think you really ever see him dance all that much because the actor playing him is an actor not a ballet dancer and then you have Sergey who's I don't whether they indicate that he's Russian the actor is in fact Russian um, but he's his girlfriend had um, recently become part of the San Francisco ballet so those are the and then you have this other guy who shows up again um, did I mention him his name uh, uh, Jimmy and he meets Maureen later he's her love instruments he's a med student at Columbia so I'm gonna kind of look at the minor characters first so with Eva essentially she yeah she shows up first day is late is not looking like the perfect ballerina she's kind of rough around the edges um, african-american woman from the Bronx um, I think she may be I don't think she's lower class uh, in the sense of economics but because she doesn't really have that attitude not to mention she's been taking professional ballet and it's hard to be poor when you're trying to pay for point shoes and ballet classes and have this type of time and technique but she's kind of she's from the Bronx she she's foul mouth she smokes she's um, she's not as refined but she's still very very good she's a fantastic ballet dancer and you see her move trying to not necessarily just fit this mold but really show how much she loves this and she's more confident than uh, both Maureen and Joni and then Jody so Jody is uh, probably the least confident for kind of good reason you do have another side character who's brought in and it brings in a concept of ballet who the character I can't remember she leaves because essentially she's told she's overweight and um, she's not that's the whole different conversation that has to do with ballet culture but essentially they tell her she's fat and she needs to lose weight and basically ballet she she leaves it because her mother's like she's depressed 
and she, valet isn't enjoying she's not enjoying this anymore so we're leaving and she the mother's like pissed off at jonathan and the crew basically for telling her she's fat and she needs to lose weight which again is pretty common with valet unfortunately they're trying to change the culture um but again i'll link Catherine morgan she talks all about that <laughs> okay so moving on you have and so that's jody's that's eva's thing she's trying to she ends up silent bonding with um the character the um juliette simone who's basically who sees her talent and sees what she can be and is very much encouraging of her because she sees she's very she's a fantastic dancer she's great technique um the actress playing her is not a professional ballet dancer. She becomes an actress. I will talk about that at the end of the video. Uh, but she did have ballet training. So then you have Maureen. Now Maureen's mother is a, she's a dance mom. She's in administration at this ballet company. Maureen's been going to classes for years. Maureen has perfect technique. She's absolutely all perfect in technique, but she's also become bulimic. So she's throwing up all the time. So. Um, one night she meets this Columbia student who's working as a waiter um, for a catering company who's catering a big gala, like the first opening of the season of this ballet company. And so this is a huge gala and he meets her and he likes her and they do end up dating. And it goes through realizing that she realizes that he's the first person out of the ballet world that she's interacted with, really. And eventually he kind of notices she's throwing up and tries to, what the heck is going on here? And I think uh, the, almost part of the conclusion of her story, she realizes she's uh, cast, because they at the end of the intensive, they have this kind of gala opening where they, all of the students are, um, basically they're put, they're put in a specific ballet. There are three shorter ballets uh, choreographed by different people and she gets the starring role. But during those rehearsals, you hear something that Jonathan says. It's like, your technique is perfect, but it looks like you're working. It's, she doesn't have any emotion in it. Her, everything is absolutely, absolutely perfect, but it looks like she's doing a job and she's not into character. She's not acting, which is part of a big part of ballet. You're supposed to make it look effortless and she looks like she's working. And she um, goes eventually to her boyfriend and tells him, it's like, do you love me because of me or because I'm a ballet dancer? And it's the realization that she doesn't love doing this and she doesn't want to be a professional ballet dancer. So, and that's his part in the conclusion. And then you have the major uh, story here, which revolves around Jodie Sore. Now she's very pretty. She's brought into the, <laughs> the intensive because she's good looking and the people decide to put her in there because despite the fact that she has terrible turnout, she does have decent, she has good technique. It's her turnout that's done and she doesn't really have a lot of confidence and the intensive does not help. So at some one point she decides to take a class outside of the ballet company. So she takes a non-ballet class and she runs into Cooper Nielsen. Now, Cooper has an interesting story. He's a member, he's a principal member of the ballet. He had been off what a lot of people call in a hub. He was off touring in Europe because he was dating one of the other principal dancers and she suddenly married the artistic director of the, or the head of the company, kind of, and nobody really knew they were seeing each other. So he got pissed off and left. So when they start this intensive, he's come back and he's taking this class and he ends up kind of, um, he notices her and he's obviously, he's seen her. Um, they have a run in the beginning. He helps, helps Jody with her bags. To him, she's young, she's cute and she's a student. He, I think he also likes her dancing. Um, which I'm assuming, yes, he likes her dancing. Um, and particularly in this class, which is more hip hop uh, focused. So, and she's afraid she's gonna get in trouble because they're not supposed to be uh, taking different ballet classes outside of this intensive. So they, he takes her back to his apartment 
he I wouldn't say he kind of seduces her he seduces her because she's young and she's naive or she's just about to go into college so she's maybe 18 years old and he's a full he's been a principal dancer for years supposedly he's much older he's probably in his mid-20s or closing in on his 30s so they have sex and then he essentially brushes her off and Charlie's got puppy love for her so he's they're trying to hang out with their friends and he's in love with her and she's just obsessed she's obsessed with perfecting her technique she desperately wants into ABT and then she's thinking that Cooper likes her and he kind of brushes her off you see she sees him um, dance or what there's one of two um, it's in a dance called Stars and Stripes where he dances with the other principal dancer um, who he's he's still desperately what is her character name um, he desperately wants to get back with her and that is Kathleen Donahue so um, you see them dance together twice once before this gala where they do um, the Romeo and Juliet uh, balcony scene and then they do the Stars and Stripes both of these are ballets they're uh, actual ballets um, I think they're uh, I can't remember the style they are off the top of my head but these are actual ballets so and basically after the stars and stripes she tries to meet him behind the back door he's wandering off with a bunch of young girls and the um, during the stars and stripes when these two are dancing together uh, his uh, Donahue pretty much says she's in love with you it's like she's she's just a student um like she's not she he, she doesn't really mean much to me in a sense um but uh she's in love with him he kind of brushes her off essentially he ditches her and she gets upset and that causes problems so then you come to the end of this so they have these the, the conclusion of the film is you have these three ballets now you do see a few minor characters because there's um, a few other girls that are kind of normal ballet dancers here. So there are three ballets. There's Jonathan's, who's kind of the uh, head of the ballet. I believe he's the, whether he's the artistic director or what. Basically, he's in charge. Um, where he does a ballet, that's supposed to be with Maureen and Sergei in the major roles. And then um, you have another ballet, which is done by one of the other artistic directors. And then Cooper gets a chance to uh, choreographer, be a choreographer for this third little ballet. Now something that happens in the beginning is Jonathan introduces Cooper to a wealthy widow who basically it's like charm her so she can give money to our ballet and that backfires. You find out how that backfires at the end. But so Cooper um, choreographs this three-part ballet and he puts Eric, Charlie, and Joni and Jody into this ballet. Only Eric, during one of the dress rehearsals, hurts himself and he's out. Um, and then Cooper has a fight with Jonathan because Cooper is going to take his place. It's like you can't, his, his, the understudy is not good enough. So he's going to put himself into the ballet, which uh, pisses Jonathan off to came to him, come, but it's too late um, to really do anything. I think it's like the night before this happens so Cooper is literally the only one who can do it at least in his mind so this day comes right before it this um, Eva pretty much tells both Maureen she's convinced she doesn't have a chance it's like she she's like I blew it on the first day tomorrow's just another day I can dance and that's it because she's been put in the corpse of Jonathan's ballet and Maureen um, basically she's a lot of people say she's a shoo in and then Joni's just terrified because she's the star of this ballet of Cooper's and all of a sudden she has to dance with him and he broke up with her so yeah she's freaked out and so that's actually the night that Maureen goes and talks to her boyfriend and realizes that she when she saw Eric go down she wishes that were her so you have this come day you see the day of this thing um, Cooper's kind of bugging Joni it's like because she has to do these massive pirouettes at the very end and he's bugging her about it and it's like you have to be on your leg and Charlie talks to her it's like just forget about him he had told her previously because they'd had a fight when during rehearsals 
and um, she had a tight height with Cor Cooper. He's like, Charlie's like, put your feelings into the dance. So, and the way Cooper's ballet is, um, it's a three-parter. You have it's a love. He has he does a love triangle, where he's basically Charlie's the head of the ballet company, Cooper's the boyfriend, she's the dancer, and um, they're both in love with her. So that's the, that's the story. There's like three little scenes to it, but before that, you have Jonathan's ballet, and you see this at the very end. You see Sergey's making to bring out, assuming it's Maureen, and it's Eva. Eva had been her understudy, and she takes her place. And then you see this big fight between Maureen and her mother out, out in the lobby. She tells her mother, it's like, this is not what I want. If this is what I want, I wouldn't be throwing up everything I eat. And she's like, this is your dream, not mine. You didn't have the feet, I don't have the heart. And so she kind of goes off. She doesn't watch the performance, um, and she kind of goes off with her pre-med student decides to go to college. So that's what happens with her. And then you have this final ballet, which they're, um, honestly, all three of the major players in this film ballet are actual trained ballet dancers. So um, the person playing Eva is, um, she was trained in ballet, but she's not a ballet dancer. She's a, this is her first film, but she's an actress, not a ballet dancer. Neither is the actress who plays Maureen. You don't really see, you see a little bit of her dancing, but you don't see much. So this final thing are done by three actual ballet dancers. Um, so you see this kind of play out. You see the first scene where it's um, doing a regular ballet and then Cooper comes in on his motorcycle. I don't know how on earth they do that on a ballet stage inside, but he comes in on his, or how safe that is. He comes in on his motorcycle. He takes Joni away, different dance. And then you have another song where she dances with both of them. And it's kind of a sadder song. And then it comes in where um, it transfers where Joni is now in this red outfit and she's kind of pushing these guys away and coming into her own. And she has to do these massive pirouettes and she nails it. And so at the end of this, um, everybody's, everybody's done and then they're gonna bring them into the back rooms. So um, uh, right after this, uh, Jody sees her parents and then Cooper show, comes in with this woman and he says, I'm going to have my own ballet company. So he had gotten this wealthy widow to fund his own ballet company. He's like, I want you to be a principal dancer. I want you to work with me. We dance really, really well together. And I want you to be in my ballet and be a principal. And then she's called into the back room and she tells them, it's like, yeah, um, please don't say anything to me. I'm gonna go with Cooper. I, every, I'm not a perfect ballet dancer, but I know if you even offer me a spot, I'll be stuck in the corpse, which is pretty much, she says, waving a rose back and forth. This is the people who are on the bottom they're important in a ballet, but again, they're the least paid. And she's like, I'll be stuck doing that the rest of my career. So I'm gonna go be a principal with Cooper's company. And so she's done and she kind of leaves like that. And yes, she goes with Cooper's company, but she also tells him like, you're a great choreographer, you're a crappy boyfriend. And she ends up dating Charlie. Charlie's let into um, the American Ballet Company as is Eva and then Eric who has have a bun the bum foot, but they're still gonna let him in. And then Maureen decides to go off to college and that's kind of how it ends. So Joni and you kind of, that's over the credits, you see them the different places. You see Eva and the other three as members. I don't think they would start off as members of the corpse or as, um, I think they, they're, they're shown in company class. Uh, as is Joni, she's off with Cooper in a much smaller studio, but also more of a, I'm guessing his ballets are gonna be less traditional. And you see um, Maureen off at college. So I love this. You see actual ballet dancers for late. Um, I'll talk about some of the uh, actors. The actress playing Maureen is an actress. The actress playing Eva has ballet training, but is not an actress. 
The guy playing Eric is just an actor, which is the reason you don't really see him dancing at all. Oh, and Sergey. Sergey goes with his girlfriend to San Francisco. He's um, he's a Russian ballet. He's a not a Russian ballet dancer. He's a Russian figure skater. So he has ballet experience, which is the reason you can see him in that final ballet. Mostly, uh, a lot of Eva's spots are done by uh, a stunt double. So probably an actual ballet dancer. So Sergey's probably doesn't because he could do this because he was trained in ballet because he was a figure skater. So, and as well, the last ballet, all three players are actual actors and are actual ballet dancers. Jody, um, her, the actress's name is Amanda Skull. So she's classically trained. She's from Hawaii. Um, she went to Indiana University on a ballet scholarship. She ended up in the corpse for the San Francisco Ballet for about six years, right around starting around the time this uh, film was done in 2000. So she's a trained ballet dancer. Uh, the actors playing uh, Charlie and Cooper are major ballet dancers. Um, Ethan uh, Steffel, who's the guy playing Cooper, is was considered one of the best of his generation. And the actress playing opposite him, um, Kathleen Donahue, is Julie Kent. And she's also considered one of the best of her generation in ballet dancers. Um, and then Charlie, whose name, her first name is Sasha. Again, he's considered a great ballet dancer. Um, all of them worked at the American Ballet Theater. So all three of these three would have actually danced together. They were there at different times. Um, I believe uh, both Cooper and um, Kent, I mean, Ethan Steffel and Julie Kent were principals. At, that ball at the American Ballet Theater. Um, Sasha was a principal, or not a principal, he was, um, he was a soloist, which is second to a principal, and then he was a principal at the Dutch National Ballet. So I think I've seen things where both um, Ethan Steffel and Sasha, I can't remember his last name, actually at one point in time trained at the Bolshevik, which I'm probably mispronouncing. That's Russia. That's <laughs> the top of the game. So. All three of them are now chore, um, well, no. Steffel is a choreography, choreographer. I don't know where though. He keeps, m I know I've looked him up before. He's, he keeps moving around. He was in Australia, he was in California. Um, let's see. Um, no, he was, he, he was it's saying artistic of the Royal New Zealand Ballet uh, to 14. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, he was a principal. At, I don't know where the heck he's at now. Um, is it saying? No. Uh, he's now taking over the New Jersey um, based American repository of ballet. So it looks like he's an artistic director um, starting now over there. Um, Julie Kent is with, she's an artistic director at um, the Washington Ballet. So she's in Seattle. And then Sasha went, he's now teaching. Um, I believe at the American Ballet School. I believe what he, that's what he's doing now. Um, if I can get to him. Yeah, I can't pronounce his last name. So he's, um, yeah, he's, he was in 2018, he was named the Arti Artistic Director of the American Ballet Theater's Studio Company. So um, he's done quite a bit. But yeah, apparently he was in a few films. Uh huh. Uh, he returned to Charlie when they do a second film of this. I don't watch sequels. At least I haven't seen the sequel to this. So those are the actual um, actors. The actress playing, um, as I think I mentioned, uh, Amanda Skull, she retired from ballet. She was in the corpse in San Francisco and became an actress. So that is, that's part of what I find interesting is that final ballet that you see is done by actual professional ballet dancers. And it's very well done. It's um, it's definitely a teen kind of drama film. You do see some of the realisticness of the ballet because Len, you have professional ballet dancers in this film. So you see how they mess with their shoes. You see some of the issues with bulimia and people being told they're overweight. All of that is true. Um, and the mass competition and even some of the um, almost dislike of African-Americans where that's a kind of issue. It's barely touched on. Um, but you see some of the realistic. And again, I love that kind of those final little bits of those ballets at the 
end. And that's done by professional dancers. So who know what they're doing? And you see those bits of both Stars and Stripes and um, Romeo and Juliet done by Steffel and Julie Kent, who again would have actually performed these things on stage together at one point in time, most likely, because they were both at the American Ballet Theater. So it's a, it's a fun movie to watch. It's definitely teen. I wouldn't recommend this even for middle schools because there's the minor sex scene between uh, Steffel's character and um, Amanda's char character um, are, it's tastefully done. You don't really see anything. And then they recreate it on stage for the ballet. <laughs> so they literally recreated uh, bedroom scene and all. Uh, in fact, it looks almost identical to the room that they're in. So, which is possibly uh, the point. Because again, Cooper did the, it's his choreography. So, but again, it's definitely a teen drama. I enjoy it because I'm a ballet nut and the ballet is realistic. Um, the dancing is realistic. So, and kind of the competition thing is realistic. The company obviously is very much made up. And I think the American Ballet Theater, why it still does some of the classics, I think it's more known for um, more of the alternative ballets these days. So, fantastic film, definitely a teen film. This is, I'm covering this because this is one of my favorites. Um, there's another ballet film that I love that I don't know I'm going to cover that's not a teen drama. Um, it's definitely an older film. I haven't actually, I bought it recently. I haven't had a chance to watch it again. Um, but it's very, very different. This is fun. If your kids like ballet, if they like dancing, um, this is a fun movie to watch. Um, if you enjoy this, if you enjoy the ballet world and you're looking to kind of watch a fun movie. There's no real educational stuff in this besides talking about some of the issues of uh, ballerinas or ballet dancers face in the professional world of the various uh, competition, uh, relationships, uh, the smoking, which is probably well known, um, and just some of the other issues with fat shaming and the bulimia and just being torn down for not being perfect. So that is all realistic to the actual real life ballet. So in the, that they're, they're desperately, that's some of the toxic thing. They're trying to change that. Um, so this is, I, I wouldn't be covering a few students still bought it. I highly recommend it. It's a favorite of mine, even though it's a kind of weird, slightly trashy teen drama, but I'm covering it because it's a favorite. It's just something that I enjoy. I was amazed when I kind of looked this up and realized just how many professional dancers were in this. Um, and how well done uh, some of the dancing was. And so, again, most of the dance people in there actually had ballet training with, that, with the exception of two. And then, of course, the actress playing Eva had some ballet training, um, but of course not enough to be as well as the professionals, which were the rest ones. And of course, the actor playing, uh, the guy playing Sergei was a Russian figure skater. So he probably would have at least changed uh, trained briefly with the Bolshevik for some of the stuff because that it's a big part of figure skating. You're essentially doing ballet on ice. So it's ballet on ice. So they would have trained um, on foot like this for some of the technique. So that's it for this review. If you like what you see, I do a, this is not a common thing. This is kind of an offshoot of what I do. I do a lot of children's books. Um, I do more family film stuff. Uh, as well as a sprinkling of secular, aka non-religious homeschooling stuff and some kids travel stuff. And that is my fussing toddler. So check out my channel, like and subscribe. I have a lot of stuff on offer and a lot of stuff planned. Thank you.